That is what he do. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. That's what he do. He coming out here to mess me up. Hey guys, it's Daphne O, and I'm back with another short um video. I'm on the back porch, so you will hear all the background noise. I say this in all my videos. I'm not professional, so you will hear all the unprofessionalism in the background of my video. But this video is uh, about how to insert images in the Samson Notes app. I've done a video before about that, but this one is more specifically for those who do digital planning and digital journaling. Um, those who are in the planner community, whether it's digital or physical, if you're really deep into it, um, you know that we often use a lot of stickers, whether it's physical stickers in our physical planners or digital stickers in our digital planners. And um, I just want to show you how you can go to Google and use an image to use in your planner or journal. Now, before you do go to Google and do that, I just want to say, make sure when you do go to Google and do this, make sure you're using the image that you're, you are allowed to use. Like, don't just be going, taking anybody's images that are copywritten and stealing other people's work. That's, that's not cool. I wouldn't want nobody stealing my work. But even some images that are copywritten, you do have permission to use them in your personal um, planning and journal. You just have to look at the fine print and make sure you have that permission. What I would do is I would just go and Google free images and I would use that um, in my journal or planner or whatnot. Um, I got to stop now because my dad is about to come out here while I'm doing this video and he's about to mess me up. That is what he do. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. That's what he do. He's coming out here to mess me up. Like I was saying before my dad came out and messed me up. Um, yeah, I would just Google free images and see what come up and what what you can use instead of having to worry about if you're messing with images that are copywritten or anything like that. In this video, I will be just going to Google grabbing the image. Um, but I'm not keeping it in my planner. I'm gonna delete it. I'm just using I'm just gonna grab an image for the purpose of this video right here. And um that's about it. I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Alright, bye. Okay, you guys, first things first, I want to show you how to enable the edge panel on your device. Um, the way I insert images into the Samsung Notes, I have to use the edge panel, so I want to show you guys how to do that. I went to settings, I'm going to display, and then under display, I'm going to edge panel. Uh, I don't know if this is available on all Android devices, but I'm pretty sure it is available on Samsung's devices. And once you go to your Edge panel, go down there and click on Panels, and it show you all the panels that are available, but make sure you have your App panel enabled, and make sure you have the Samsung's Internet Browser on that panel. You can always click Edit at the bottom and add it, the browser to it if it's not there. I'm not sure if this works in Google, but I do know it works in um, the Samsung Browser. And here I'm just showing you the handle. This is a little purple bar over there on the side. You can change the color of it, the size and transparency. I have a video that's more detailed about this, so I'm not going to go into detail about the handle or whatnot. And now we're going to go into Samson's Notes, and I'm going to show y'all how to insert the images. We're going to start a new note, but no, actually I'm going to back out of that, and I'm going to click my July's Planner. This planner is free on my website, by the way, kbbooksprezents.com. If you like it, you can go over there and download it and use it for your personal use. But we're going to use this planner so I can show you how to insert an image in the planner. I have uh, other months, well, it's not useful now because we're in the month of July. But anyway, I pulled out the I pulled out the edge panel to the side, and I clicked the um, Samsung's internet browser, and I dragged it to open up another window. I'm using my S Pen, um, by the way, to grab stuff. And now I'm gonna search fireworks because you know it's July, you know, fireworks. And I'm gonna click on image with my S Pen, and I'm gonna drag it over there onto my planner on the Samsung Notes page. And when you do this, it also takes the hyperlink with it the image as well as the hyperlink and this is great for um students like people who use the samson notes for taking notes and stuff like that in class you can take you can go grab notes from your internet browser and it will put the hyperlink in the notes as well and the hyperlinks work like, i'm gonna click on this and it's gonna take me to the page where i got this image from so i mean this is great for students too that take notes um that's what i did right here i clicked the hyperlink to show you that it takes you to the um, web page now i'm gonna show you how to delete the hyperlink you're just gonna use the selector tool over there on the um, right hand side and you're gonna grab it and then you're gonna hit delete so you can get rid of the hyperlink if you don't need the hyperlink. If you're a student, you will use the hyperlink to credit whoever you know um, you're using in your notes. And I'm just dragging the image around to show you that you can resize this image, you can crop it if you need to. Um, you can lasso crop, meaning you can take just a portion of the image and use it, which is what I'm about to show you. I'm gonna take that little blue fire over there in the corner and I'm gonna lasso crop it, and you can just use that. And then you can even resize that to whatever you want or crop it to whatever you want. But like I said in the beginning, when you do the images, it's better that you search free images on Google so that you're not stealing nobody else's work. Even if it's copyrighted, you can still possibly use it. 
if the fine print say you can use it for your personal use, you know, and things like that. I'm just showing y'all what this journal look like in case y'all like it. This plan look like I, I did something different with this one, but it's over there on my website. I also sell um, planners on Etsy as well. I'll leave that all in the description box below. We have made it to the end of the video. I appreciate you guys for um, coming along, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. So I just want to say, if you found this video useful or helpful, um, if you give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, if you didn't find it useful or helpful at all, that's okay too. Not every video is going to be a fit for everybody, but I still appreciate you stopping by as well. All right, you guys. Bye.